a rumbling growl, fur standing on end. It's unnerving when your beloved pet reacts negatively to guests. While growling can be a scary sound, it's important to remember it's a form of communication. Understanding why your dog growls at guests and taking steps to address the issue will create a safer and more welcoming environment for everyone. Decoding the growl, fear, anxiety, or possessiveness. Growling doesn't automatically signal aggression. It's a warning sign, a way for your dog to communicate discomfort. Let's explore some common reasons behind guest-directed growling. 1. Fear. Unfamiliar people entering their perceived safe space can trigger anxiety in some dogs. New sights, sounds, and smells can be overwhelming, leading to growling as a defensive measure. 2. Lack of socialization. Puppies who haven't been exposed to a variety of people and situations may be more apprehensive around strangers. Early socialization helps build confidence and reduces fear-based reactions. 3. Resource guarding. Some dogs growl when they feel their possessions, food, or even their owner's attention is threatened. Guests entering their space can trigger this possessive behavior. Safety first, setting ground rules for guests. While addressing the root cause of growling is crucial, safety always comes first. Here's what you can do to manage the situation. 1. Leash greeting. When expecting guests, have your dog on a leash as soon as the doorbell rings. This provides control and prevents unwanted interactions. 2. Designated safe space. Create a comfortable area, like a crate or a quiet room, where your dog can retreat if overwhelmed. Train them with a go to your spot command for a calm escape. 3. Inform guests. Let your visitors know about your dog's growling and explain the steps you're taking to address it. Ask them to avoid direct eye contact, sudden movements, or approaching the dog until it seems comfortable. Building confidence. Positive reinforcement techniques. Now that we've established protocols for guest interactions, let's focus on long-term solutions. Here are some training techniques to build your dog's confidence and create positive associations with guests. 1. Desensitization and counter-conditioning. Gradually expose your dog to triggers in a controlled environment. Start with sounds, like a doorbell recording, at a low volume. Reward calm behavior with treats and praise. Gradually increase the volume and introduce visual cues like someone approaching the door all while maintaining a positive association. If you are interested in other dog training videos, check out some of our playlists and discover even more information about dogs. 2. Leave it, command. Train your dog to disengage from triggers by teaching a strong, leave it, command. Practice with objects they like to pick up, then progress to people approaching their space. Reward them for leaving the item or person alone. 3. Look at me, command. Teach a reliable, look at me, command. When guests arrive, use this cue to redirect your dog's attention back to you. Reward them for focusing on you instead of the guest. Remember, these techniques require patience and consistent practice. Consider seeking help from a certified professional dog trainer if needed. Building positive guest interactions, the power of treats. Once your dog shows signs of improved confidence, you can create positive guest associations with treats. Here's how. 1. Treat greeting. Have guests toss high-value treats on the floor away from them, rewarding the dog for approaching and taking the treat calmly. Gradually, guests can toss treats closer, creating a positive connection with the person. 2. Sit for attention. Train your dog to sit for attention instead of jumping or growling. Guests can offer treats only when the dog is sitting calmly. 3. Important note, never force interaction. If your dog seems uncomfortable, allow them to retreat to their safe space. Respect their boundaries and progress at their own pace. Additional tips for success. 1. Manage excitement. Many dogs bark and growl out of excitement when guests arrive. Teach a calming behavior like, lie down, before greeting guests. 2. Exercise is key. A tired dog is a less stressed dog. 
Ensure your dog gets regular exercise to release pent-up energy and promote relaxation. 3. Consistency is key. Training takes time and consistency. Practice techniques regularly throughout the day, not just when guests are expected. By understanding your dog's communication and implementing positive training techniques, you can transform their reaction from growling to a happy wag. This will create a more welcoming home for everyone and strengthen the bond with your furry companion. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time.